So, I mean, apart from the my connection with uh, mental health, ko, mm-hmm. of course, I was really excited because uh, this was the first time that I was working on something cross-cultural. So I mean, apart from the my connection with uh, mental health, ko, mm-hmm. of course, I was really excited because uh, this was the first time that I was working on something cross-cultural. So because I grew up, um, I was born in the Philippines, but I was I grew up in Singapore. Mm-hmm. So I saw it as kind of like a way for me to get in touch with my roots. But also because because of this project, I was able to perform for my family for the first time, which really meant a lot to me. Um, so yeah, yun dun po ako na excited kasi um, it's not often that I get to speak Tagalog or like even be around like artists who uh, like speak my mother tongue. So mm-hmm. I am getting to know a lot about other people, but also a lot about myself and my heritage. And yeah, it, it really means a lot to me, way more than like words can explain, and also way more than like it's it's way bigger than the project lah for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, it's really about spreading awareness. Because mm. when I was younger, I really felt alone and I didn't have anyone. So uh, we, I feel like we all want to make people feel that they're not alone and you are loved. I want to spread awareness because I, I knew the feeling. I know how the feeling na I think um, as long as you're reaching out to somebody and already helping them with their lives, even if it's as small as like helping friends or your family, I think that is already advocating because you are supporting someone else. And then from that, slowly on, you could reach out to more people, if not just your friends, to also people you may not know. It could be by the use of social media or, you know, through your school or even something like that. Everyone, as long as they're doing their part to help somebody else through their top lines, I think that is advocating for itself. I actually agree with what um, Kiri said. You know, advocacy is a small step. So it doesn't have mm-hmm. to be. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, fun fact about our My Safe Face EP as well. Um, we're, it's not just a project for mental health and, you know, just an EP itself. Part of the digital um, stream revenues will be going to nonprofit organizations, both in Singapore and the Philippines. So for the Philippines, we're actually going to be working with Batay Bata because we felt that it was a very relevant. Um, organization that can really you know can really benefit from what we're doing in Singapore we're working with um, Comchess to donate to Samaritans of Singapore and Shanyo Counseling Center so really um, even in these small steps you can already be contributing to something much bigger and you don't have to announce to the world Mm -hmm, that you're mm -hmm. like this while you're you know listening to the EP in your safe place you're also contributing to other people's safe places. But again, you know, as what Kiri said, advocacy doesn't have to be loud as long as you're really, you know, doing small actions for what you really believe in. That's more than enough. Yes, that's totally true. Oh, go ahead, Trisha Dini. Um, for me, you know, the, the world is busy. We all have our own struggles. We're, we have a lot of problems and we go to work. But... It's good to listen to other people, of course, be their friend, but it starts within you. Mm-hmm. So be there for yourself first so that you can give to others. So be kind to yourself and you can be kind to other people. That's um, <laughs> <laughs> um, the smallest thing. That talk to your friends. Don't wait mm-hmm. for them to message you. Diba? You just, siguro every two weeks, you know, uh, check up on your friends. Because sometimes we don't want to burden other people. That's why we don't open up to them. But if, it, parang similar mo na, you talk to them, you just listen to them. It, it makes a big difference. You don't need to give 
ano eh, advice naman eh, as long as she listen. You, makikinig ka lang, that's what's important talaga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, for me po, I think what really helps also is to destigmatize yes. your mental health um, um, journeys ng mga tao. Especially, um, I don't know about you guys, but like when I grew up, a part of the reason why I felt that it was really hard for me to reach out for help was because I was scared of what people were gonna say. Yeah. So I feel like um, in normal conversations, casual conversations, if you see that someone has um, an opinion about mental health or like um, getting help and going to therapy that might not be helpful, then you can also just let them know and educate them about how these things are actually things that work for people who need them. Yeah, so um, destigmatizing definitely helps for because um, then once you convince this one person and they're educated, then they can also help you spread the same kind of message. And then you'd never know like how much that would help like another person in the future. Actually, um, borrowing from that point as well, one thing about destigmatization, I feel like once you start having that conversation, it transcends generations as well. Mm. I think, you know, while we as youths, you know, I feel like our generation is starting to open up a lot more when it comes to casually talking about mental health. I feel mm. like us doing so, we can also try our best to help other generations before us because we know that we come from cultures where such conversations don't come up with them, but they are also people who need it the most. So I think having these gentle starts from us and then transcending to the generations before can really lead to even more helpful change for people who who really need it, essentially. Mm-hmm. Start with uncle, your parents, grandparents even. You know? yeah. 